What's up, you guys? It's Mika here. It's Mika to Mika, 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 Mika from Cosmic Warrior. How y'all feeling? I hope you guys are doing well here. All right, so uh, this reading is going to be what's coming up for you guys. Okay, raw cut. What's coming up for you guys here in February 2021 for all my signs here. Okay. So this is going to be for my fire and earth signs. Okay. My fire and earth signs. And my air and water signs here. All signs. All right, you guys. Um, also, uh, please, if you don't mind, please like and comment on the video if it does re uh, resonate with you guys. Um, that is very important for me um, to help me grow as a new reader here, help my channel grow. Um, so I do appreciate the support in advance there. Um, please uh, subscribe and hit that post notification button so every time I do upload, you guys will be the first to uh, see the video there to get the notification. Okay. Remember, time is fluid. So whenever you see the reading, that's when it's good for. Um, also, energy is interchangeable. So you can exchange the energy according to how it fits your story. Also, keep in mind that if it's not your story, then it's not your story. Don't try to make it fit. Okay. We're not going to be Cinderella sisters and chopping off our toes and feet to try to uh, uh, jam our feet in a story that it just don't fit in. To try to jam our uh, feet in a, um, a shoe that it just don't fit. All right, you guys, so I'm going to get right into the reading here. So the overall energy here, I'm going to pull uh, overall energy here for all my signs here is rebuild. Okay, so rebuild is the overall energy. Okay, so I want to set my card on fire there. <laughs> okay, so rebuild is basically... Uh, for majority of you guys is basically letting you know that you may have to start from scratch with some type of connection or it could be some type of a business or job or something like that some type of passion okay but this is basically letting know a uh, majority of you guys to that this may be a good time to start fresh with a relationship possibly okay to peel the, to peel the layers one by one and reconsider there Okay, you know, like an onion or artichoke, you know, peel uh, the layers one by one to get to the core, you know, the core of a, maybe a particular love connection and decide if it's still something that you want or you find attractive there. Okay, and to basically discard like layers that are not needed or that don't serve you. Okay, and possibly start over with the same foundation, you know, with possibly like a new commitment or the person, you know, and, and, and base that you know, connection there, or like I said, job or passion, you know, base that off of truth, honesty, and love, and you, and, and also be aware of the things that, you know, you gain here, you know, the truth, be aware of the truth that you gain by doing this, okay, and that could be people that are in a, a connection right now, okay, for my single people, you know, this could also apply to you as well, rebuilding a relationship with yourself, examining all those layers, those things, those, your joys, your successes, failures, sorrows, and thinking about how it affects you there, you know, and and affecting your ability to find love and, uh, uh, you know, in this connection or possibly a job or your passion there, okay? So I'm going to go through from Aries to Pisces here, you know, what's coming up for you guys in February uh, 2021 here, okay? So first up is Aries, okay? Okay, Aries. Okay, so Aries, I see that you're you're gonna be definitely moving forward. You know, you may you may be Aries, you may have been possibly like in a stuck or stagnant situation, like maybe feeling like, you know, you were stuck on a hamster wheel here, you know, um uh, with this uh, with this uh, six of swords here like you you may have been in a stuck or stagnant situation or feel like you're doing a lot of work and it wasn't paying off you know uh, possibly in a love connection it could be work as well you know um, but I do see you know with the three of pentacles I definitely see you growing here you know like you you know you're sprouting here in tw uh, February 2021 here you know some type of partnership someone may be coming in to offer you partnership or collaborate you know with you here 
you know so i definitely see you know some forward movement there okay i see you using your passion your quality your creativity whatever it is in your job or your relationship you know and it's definitely going to be you know i see you know good things coming for you you know coming up here in february 2021 there okay like as you see you see this building here like you know i see that you know you're going to be growing i see forward movement here okay uh coming up here for my uh next is tauruses okay so I see here, you know, with the moon card here, you know, you could be possibly in some type of, uh, you know, emotional state here, you know, something, you know, you maybe have been experiencing possibly a lot of, um, you know, you know, trust issues, or you could just be really emotional, you know, coming up here in 2021, you know, um, but I do see here that, you know, someone is going to be, you know, making some type of decision. Like if you felt like someone wasn't choosing you or could have had you like in a third party here, you know, I do see that someone that you're going to get clarity here on some type of possibly, you know, love connection here. Like someone's going to make a final decision and maybe decide to actually choose you here. Okay. Also, I see you getting aligned with your life purpose there. You know, you are getting aligned here. Okay. Okay. So for my uh, Gemini's here, I see love. Love is definitely coming up for you guys. Someone, uh, some type of long-term commitment here. Someone is coming in to offer you some type of uh, a cup of love here. Okay. So I, I definitely see love coming up for you guys, Gemini's. Um, you know, some type of long-term commitment there. You know, somebody, somebody wants to lock my Gemini's down here. Okay. For my... Um, for my cancers here, um, I have uh, four of wands in reverse here, okay? So four of wands in reverse, um, you know, I do see maybe, you know, possibly some type of, you know, uh, unforeseen problems. You know, you may be, you know, in the connection that you're in, you, you, you may be coming to a completion with some type of, you know, love connection here. You know, you may be fighting with someone right now um and possibly you know thinking about moving forward or moving you know like if you're living with someone you know a love connection i see possibly you're thinking about leaving or moving out or relocating there okay um or taking like i said like a new route here like with this with this chariot card you know unfortunately you know i do see you know you taking some type of action you know to change directions here or probably move forward you know from something toxic you know, um, and maybe, you know, I see like some type of new connection coming in here for you as well. Okay. Uh, for my Leos here, I see, um, uh, you coming to maybe recon reconciling with someone here with the four of swords. Okay. With the four of swords here, um, I see you, you know, maybe going into solitude and focusing on yourself and maybe, you know, possibly recovering from, you know, uh, maybe some type of, you know, love connection that possibly, you know, could have drained you here. So I see that you are focusing on yourself and, you know, resting, you know, but I also do see some type of renewal, like maybe some type of, uh, you being able to, you know, reconcile here, maybe, with the love connection here that, you know, you may have left and they're coming back to reconcile here. Okay. Um, I have the Ace of Wands here um, as well. So, you know, this could have been someone, you could have been dealing with someone here in February, uh, February here where, you know, they possibly could have been playing games and, you know, it could have been some type of false start here as far as the love connection you may you know, maybe feeling like someone has, you know, rejected you or purposely trying to hurt you here. Uh, but with the four of swords here, you know, I do see you, you know, starting over here with a new love connection here, you know, some type of renewal, you know, you guys may end up reconciling, you know, with this person here, they may end up coming back, like after, you know, you decided, you know, to leave, you know, once you went into solitude, you know, focus on yourself here. Okay. My Virgos, Okay, I have uh, the universe here. Okay, so the universe in reverse here. Okay, so uh, I see you guys possibly, 
you know, finishing some unfinished business here coming up in here um, in February. Okay. Um, I also see that maybe you guys are maybe starting to travel. You know, um, it may be a love connection here that you may need to travel to. Or you just may be into traveling, you know, just to, you know, get away here. Okay. Or I see that, you know, you're growing from some type of situation that you may have just came out of here. Okay. Um, I see that you may have dealt with someone that may have fooled you at first, you know, coming up here in February, you know, some type of connection, uh, that coming up here that, you know, may have fooled you, that may have, you know, uh, uh, gave you like a false story. Like, you know, oh, I want to marry you. It may, may have seemed like they wanted something long-term, but really, and, and, and all, they just wanted one thing could have been, you know, sex or something like that. You know, you know, they didn't really want a long-term commitment here, but I see that you're learning from that and, you know, from that and moving forward here and maybe, you know, spending some time with yourself there, uh, Virgos, you know, traveling and things like that, you know, finding things that make you happy again. Okay. Uh, for my Libras here, I have seven of swords in reverse here. Okay. So seven of swords in reverse, um, that's basically just letting me know that um, you you will be possibly reconciling with a, maybe a possibly a past lover, a lover here. Okay, like your past lover, um, you may have left the connection or something, you know, you guys may have separated here, but I do see you guys maybe reconciling coming up here. Um, like your person may have regretted something, you know, once you guys separated, you know, the divine you know, they may have, you know, uh, went through like some karma to realize, you know, okay, you are the person that I'm supposed to be with. Okay. And they may be offer, offering, coming back in here in February, they may be coming back to try to like fix things with you possibly. Okay. Um, then we have the princess of, uh, the princess of disc here. Okay. So, uh, that's basically just letting me know here that, um, yeah, this person is definitely going to come in and actually, you know, maybe put in the work that they were not putting in. They may not have even been putting enough effort, you know, towards the relationship. So I do see you guys maybe coming to reconcile and they, they are coming back in, you know, to, and they may have, you know, changed. They may be offering you, you know, actually changing for you, you know, and being patient, putting in the hard work to actually, you know, be with you. Okay. Um, for my Scorpios, I see that you are getting over some type of pain here. You know, some type of relationship, you know, left you in pain. Okay. But I do see, you know, someone coming in. Um, I do see like you're healing. Uh, we'll be healing here in February. Um, you know, maybe possibly from, like I say, some type of love connection. Going through a healing process and somebody is coming back to give you an apology. Okay, um, you know, you, you could be coming out of uh, some type of love connection could have come to completion here in February. But I see that person not being done with you yet, Scorpio. They're not done with you yet. They're coming back to offer you, you know, uh, an apology. Okay. Yeah, so with this Queen of Wands, like, you know, someone you know was being cold to you you know or being just pretty feisty you know which could have you know possibly ended a love connection or you know just could have just been very complicated but they're definitely coming back to offer you an apology here okay uh for my uh up next is my scorpios uh not my scorpios i'm sorry my sagittarius here okay so um i see nine of uh swords here Okay, so that's basically letting me know that, you know, at this time you may be dealing with, you know, you may be down in the dumps right now, you know, maybe dealing with some hardships here in uh, February here. Okay, you may be dreaming about these things, you know, someone you could have dealt with here, you know, could have been purposely trying to hurt your feelings, maybe purposely trying to break you down, you know, and you haven't possibly been getting any sleep here. So you've been dealing with a lot of possibly, you know, depression and anxiety from this. Okay, um, then we have the devil card. Okay, so 
you know this person is obsessed with you like you know the person that you're dealing with you know not even though they may have treated you wrong like they're definitely obsessed with you and they're definitely thinking about maybe coming back because they kind of missed the fun that they had with you okay because this person is definitely obsessing with you you know uh, uh you you may have some stalkers here in February, maybe stalking your social social media, maybe thinking about all the fun, the fun, sexy times that you had. Like this person is addicted to you, but you want to be careful that this person is not, you know, just coming around you. You know, you know, maybe possibly just for your money here. Okay, but I do see you healing, also healing from, you know, some type of love connection here too. Okay, but you know, I also see you know someone coming in to maybe offer you a lot of fun too because they missed the fun that they had with you guys, uh, that you guys had. Okay, um, coming here for my uh, Capricorns, I see that you are letting go of something like some type of relationship is coming to a completion here, like you're standing your ground with something, you know, with that emperor, the emperor card there, like you're standing your ground, you know, um with someone you know this could be like a spouse or something like that um but i see you know you're definitely letting go of someone that no longer serve that no longer serves you here in uh february here okay um my aquarius is here okay i see that uh with the two of swords here in reverse um i see that you know that someone is going to end up choosing you Okay, someone's going to come back and they're going to actually, you know, choose you, a past lover, okay? Like, they're no longer confused as far as, you know, who they want. Like, they're going to choose you here. They're going to actually offer um, and come forth with some type of offer there, okay? Uh, but I do see, like, some type of, you know, uh, with the Eight of Swords here, you know, I do possibly see some type of fear that may be still there you know, some type of fear, you know, that may be still there when this person comes in, like you, like you may not actually, you know, I don't really see you giving this person a chance, even though they may come back in, you know, possibly with the offer or to try to like make, make peace. Like you're probably tired, basically tired of their shit and maybe moving forward, you know, I see some may possibly new love coming in here. Okay. Um, lastly, my Pisces. Okay, so we have uh, the hangman in reverse here. Okay, so with this hangman in reverse, um, you, you may feel like some type of connection, you're in love connection, like someone may have, you know, betrayed you, or like you may feel like, um, like someone, you know, was a traitor, basically. Like you may be dealing, you know, you may end up dealing with someone who is just completely selfish here possibly okay then I have seven of cups in reverse okay I do see you being able to you know that you're getting clarity and you know you're going to be coming out of the clouds and really seeing this person for who they are you know actually get a restored sense of yourself to be able to move forward and make a decision there okay you're going to really you know notice that you know what this person is here for in February you're going to notice that this person may just may be around, you know, just using you and you're going to, you know, no longer be blind to that and you're going to be able to actually, you know, move forward. OK, and that's what I see for all my zodiac signs here. You know, keep in mind, overall energy is revealed. OK, for anything that you guys are going through, just know that you can always keep the same foundation in your relationship, guys, and realize, you know, you know what possibly went wrong and and rebuild rebuild these relationships there you know learn from your lessons keep the same foundation and rebuild okay so keep that in mind that is overall for february um growing and rebuilding there okay you don't necessarily always have to move forward you know, uh, into something new unless, you know, you come to peace with yourself and realize that's something that you have to do, but you can always, you know, find the space to rebuild relationships there. All right. And that's what I got for you guys. Um, please, if this resonated with you, please, uh, like and comment. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that post notification guys. Um, so every time I upload that you guys will be the first one to, uh, you know, know there. Alright, so it's all love coming from my way and I see you guys on the next one. Peace.